welcome back today guys to the channel top 10 drips of the week is back on this saturday uh it's been a little bit since we posted top 10 right i do apologize things came up i did my setup video which was the main reason for the slowdown of the channel just a lot of things happening i moved my whole studio down into the basement and i put out a video yesterday so definitely check that out if you have not i will leave a link down below for you guys and we have even more changes happening to the studio so i'm very excited for this next coming week so make sure you guys do stay subscribed with post notifications turn them on now last time that we were here we did a vote for number one and uh set a course a clip man knocked him right out of first place 72 percent enjoyed that clip for number one so uh looks like we're gonna have to give it to the pc side of things huge thing for everybody that did submit the clip last week you know this week um right we're back though this week man i'm really excited for it and uh, a couple other things that are going around in the drifting community for one uh free wi-fi coming through with a two-wheel man Look, absolutely crazy just kept this throttle down but adam lz he ended up qualifying for pro 2 road atlanta and uh they're going to be battling today at some point in time so i don't know if it's going to be before or after this video goes out uh, but i'm excited to follow him hoping for the best for adam and uh let's see how he does man right i mean let me know your thoughts down below are you following if you are uh torque drift actually updated with their game as well too to give you road atlanta on the game so if you're playing it update your game you're going to get road atlanta for free if you guys don't know about torque drift google it right i mean that's what i tell everybody man if you don't know something google it this guy didn't know how to reverse entry i tell him google it but he does though man throwing it in nice and hard on here forza horizon 4 uh we do have another vote for number one for today's episode and uh right i think we have a pretty good countdown one thing I will say, if you guys are interested in submitting your clips, make sure you guys send it to the slap train business at hotmail.com. Make sure you guys spell it correctly. There will be a link and template down below. Just copy it, paste it, send it to the email address with a YouTube link, either public or unlisted. Make sure you guys do that, otherwise it's not going to come through. Speaking of not coming through, uh, my vision last episode, right, I called a Wyra Azonda. Oh my god. I don't know what I was thinking. It's pretty funny noticing uh, you know, that I did screw up and then going through all the comments and seeing what everyone says. Sometimes, right, it is positive, constructive. Hey, you know, next time, uh, you know, it's a Zonder, you know, stuff like that. Maybe it's negative, but I do appreciate everyone's support and letting me know. We had an IRL clip here. Uh, this man says he got his license almost a year ago. BMW is pure stock, 320D, open diff with 150 horsepower and had some leftover winter tires and decided to send it with style to finish them off. Man, definitely respect. Big thank you for sending this in. If you guys have any other clips like this, send them into the email down below. We had Andres with uh, Andreas. God, I'm sorry, man. Names, I, right? I'm terrible with them. This man's ripping by in the snow, man. Definitely liked it. Top 10, though. We're starting this off. Number 10. Apparently, his gamer taking is Big Fat g -Nat, right? I don't know if that's true or not, but he has a really nice little freestyle session here with a nice little jump drift coming through. Keeps it clean. Third gear. Doesn't go into fourth gear, but he is going to whip it pretty hard to send it back around. It was just a nice little freestyle section. I would have liked to see a tandem, but nonetheless, though, it's a great clip. Huge thank you for sending it in. Number nine, we're going to a little Forza Horizon 4 Drift Adventure Man. Online rank Turbo Luck. Now, he's actually going to throw down a very, very high run. I think it's about 604,000. And if you guys have ran any of these, you will know how hard it is to get a score like that. It is not an easy thing to do. You need to be really consistent. And he sent me the whole clip. Uh, unfortunately, right, we don't have the time to watch the whole thing. So I decided to pull the last little bit here of his run. I was going to put this clip higher in the positioning this week, but um, there was just no competition in this lobby. I mean, 371 was the next closest score. Great clip. Love the run. I uh, just wanted to see a little bit more activity in the lobby, I guess, right? I mean, I don't know if that's unfair. I'm sorry, right? It, it, it's a hard thing to do to judge these clips. And now that I'm looking at it, Insta Jacob, uh, he has a really nice kind of throw into this corner. I thought it was a reverse entry, but I don't think he was able to pull the full angle coming in. But it was really controlled. I liked it, man. Number seven, Vin and Raptor 318. We're going to nice little tandem session here on some off ramps. I like this clip for a few reasons. They actually show a lot of control being able to go in between each other, changing positions mid tandem. Uh, they've also kind of created their own little drift section. I like the creativity of this clip. Uh, just two drivers out there having fun, trying to create some lines, and it looked good, right? He's going to go through right now, make the pass, and finish off in the lead like he was at the start. They dodged the car on the oncoming. I liked it. Number six, GT Sport. Uh, 
I, I don't know what to say about this clip. We got a bunch of really expensive exotic cars going through with some tandems here on uh, Tokyo Expressway. I like the clip. It was different, unique, and there was a Zonda in the pack. You see the Zonda right there, but definitely just a very interesting clip. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know the other names of the drivers in here. I only got the one name, and that was really about it. So if you guys are sending in team tandem clips like this, please send in the other drivers. You know, they're just as important as the people that are sending in the clip. Now, right at the very end of this clip, uh, you know, it kind of gave me flashbacks to the old school days of Forza. When, you know, we were great about the finish of lobby, and everybody just piles in. Good days, man. They're fun times out there. Number five, XX Shotgun 36. He's got Mad Mike's MX5 and a rally cross section. Now, what's great about these is that there's some jumps placed around some of these tracks if you can get enough speed. Now, uh, this gentleman definitely does know that, and he's going to go for one right here with a huge jump drift. I have yet to really see anything like this on Project Cars except for, I think, the California Expressway. But really like the clip. It was creative. It was different. Big thank you. Number four, Grand Theft Auto 5, uh, 5M. This was another really, really interesting clip. Another 360 off the mountain. Now, I feel like it wasn't exactly planned. I could be wrong. Maybe they know that sweet spot on the mountain, right? But he hit that corkscrew perfectly. Played it out, finished the run, and had a nice little outside line. So I definitely give him full props on the run. I liked it. Number three this week, coming down to Forza Motorsports 7, Auto raker 12 and c note vm uh, these guys are ripping through a nice little rain section here on suzuka and i told you guys i wasn't going to use suzuka for a long time but i like the use of the replay angles it gave the clip a really nice kind of uniqueness to it with the heavy rain going around and kind of just brought me back to the pro 2 qualifying where they were really consistent they stayed on each other's doors they made it look good transitions were on point and they stuck the outside line at the very end i think overall hands down I give it two thumbs up on here, but there was other clips that rolled in, man. It's tough sometimes making these choices. Simon King, GCR, and GCR Rema TV. These guys throwing down a really nice, consistent tandem session here on a set of Corsa. And right, I mean, if you guys have ran this track before, this is Bayoku. It's a really fluid track if you can get the angles done properly. And these two guys definitely have been driving with each other for a very long time. So, you know, the chemistry between them, they know where they're going to be, and they just have a lot of trust between each other. Especially when you get that close, you know, one line could screw up the rest of the whole lap. And these guys just run a perfect lap. And it went on for, I think, three, four laps on the replay that they sent me over. I picked out the first lap because I like this chase car on the very back, that third car. He's just, he's trying, man. He really wants to be a part of this, but he just cannot hold it as well as these two guys have been, right? And honestly, I've been in this situation before where you, you know, you think that you can hold up there, you get up there and you're just like, damn, these guys are consistent, man. They're good and they're quick. And that's what I really liked about this clip is that you can see just how good these guys are. Now, right i said this was not an easy choice for me this week right i had a lot of clips to go through and unfortunately it just kind of filed back uh because i had a six man forza seven train come into my mailbox man jsi cubone mystified reeve weak sauce ueno and nando here on Prague with a ridiculous six man entry now obviously this is not an easy thing to do to keep these many cars in line consistently they got the team paints going on i liked it man again throwing me back to the forza 7 you know forza 4 forza 2 days of team drifting and just having fun with everybody i need to get back into this game i love this clip huge thank you for sending in the six man but going head to head vote for number one will be on your screen number one was up man or right can i do it the was up? i'm just kidding man i can't do it this man throws a huge reverse entry perfect reverse entry and he's on the wheel it was a really interesting kind of head-to-head -head clip situation here because we have a number one solo clip going against the six man clip man you decide pretty much both of them are on wheels the, you know the six man's on wheels we got wheels here on the pc but it comes down to xbox versus the pc solo to a six man run you decide man leave your vote down below also in the voting box man thank you guys so much for coming around we do have some montages for today starting us off ot markon 
side of Corsa, JZX90 with a nice little solo run with some cinematic angles down the mountain. All of these will be found in the description box down below. And if you guys have not already subscribed with post notifications, slap that like button as well too for today's episode. I always appreciate everyone's support. Don't forget to vote as well too in the top right hand corner. We had one here, GTA 5 uh, from uh, Doman. And this was a really nice initial D kind of tandem battle run here. It was a one cut, really nicely put together. I uh, definitely recommend checking that out. We also have the Velocity Drift community sending in a really nice touching montage and loving memory of Andrew Lee. As you guys know, he did pass away. They ended up putting his car on the server and they did a really nice tribute video for him. So definitely check that out down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching for today's episode. Top 10 drifts of the week. Don't forget to slap that like button. I'm out. Peace.